scientists create glowing plants using fungus genes. Thanks to genetic modification, scientists have obtained plants that glow in the dark. These are not the first such plants. But these shine continuously throughout their life cycle, from seedling to maturity. The researchers managed to do this thanks to the genes of fungi. The bioluminescence of some organisms brings light to the depths of the ocean, turns beaches into nighttime spectacles, and allows fireflies to light up the darkness. But plants have never mastered this art, on their own. The first trials of firefly genes implanted into plants were an early demonstration of transgenic technology. But new research has greatly improved those achievements. Seeing the results of the scientists' research, the world of lush, glow in the dark. Bioluminescent jungles imagined in the movie Avatar comes to mind. The works of scholars can be used for practical and aesthetic purposes. In particular to create luminous flowers and other ornamental plants. And although replacing street lamps with glowing trees is an idea straight from the craziest science fiction productions. Glowing green can add an extraordinary dimension to home decor. Most importantly, however, this light can be used by scientists to observe plant activity in a way that was previously impossible. It can also allow for immediate control of plant health. Initial attempts to introduce bioluminescent bacterial genes proved toxic to plants. Other common forms of bioluminescence, such as those using fireflies, require unique chemicals to maintain the luminescence. But researchers have found another way. They found that the bioluminescence found in some mushrooms is metabolically similar to natural processes common to plants by inserting DNA obtained from the fungus. The researchers were able to create tobacco plants that glow much brighter than the light obtained in previous attempts. What's more, plants containing the DNA of the fungus glow continuously throughout their life cycle, from seedling to maturity. The research results of the Moscow-based biotechnology startup Planter the Institute of Bioorganic Chemistry of the Russian Academy of Sciences, the MRC London Institute of Medical Sciences and the Institute of Science and Technology Austria have been published in the journal Nature Biotechnology, 30 years ago. I helped create the first glowing plant using the firefly gene. These new plants can produce a much brighter and more stable glow that is fully embedded in their genetic code, said Dr. Keith Wood of Light Bio Startup, which is working with Planter and plans to commercialize this novel technology in ornamental houseplants. Designing new biological features, however, is more complex than simply transferring genetic parts from one organism to another. The newly added parts must first become metabolically integrated with the host. Attempts to create luminous plants with bacterial genes have failed mainly because the bacterial parts usually don't work properly in more complex organisms. Just over a year ago, scientists discovered and characterized the Caffich acid cycle, which is the metabolic pathway responsible for luminescence in fungi. For the first time, the living light of an advanced multicellular organism has been fully defined. Bioluminescent fungi synthesize luciferins, pigments capable of emitting light present in bioluminescent living organisms, from caffeic acid. But it turned out that fungal bioluminescence works very well in plants. This allowed the researchers to create luminous plants that glow at least 10 times brighter than plants obtained in previous attempts. The green luminance achieved in the modified plants is produced without any harm to their health. The whole plant shines, leaves, stems, roots and flowers. Although fungi are not closely related to plants, 
Their light emission focuses on an organic molecule that is also needed by plants to form cell walls. It's a molecule of caffic acid. It produces light through a metabolic cycle involving four enzymes. Two enzymes convert caffic acid into a luminescent precursor, which is then oxidized by a third enzyme to produce a photon. The last enzyme converts the oxidized molecule back into caffic acid to start the cycle again. Caffic acid is a building block of lignin, which helps provide mechanical strength to plant cell walls. It is one of the basic components of wood, and at the same time the most common renewable resource on Earth. As a key component of plant metabolism, caffic acid is also integral to many other essential compounds associated with color and fragrance. Despite similar names, caffic acid is not related to caffeine. By combining light production with this key molecule, the glow emitted by plants provides an intrinsic metabolic indicator. It can reveal the physiological state of plants and their responses to the environment. In research, scientists have found that young plants, in particular flowers, glow the brightest. During the growth of the modified plant, the researchers saw waves of light or flashing, showing active plant behaviors that would normally be hidden by enabling autonomous light emission. Dynamic plant processes can be monitored, including development and pathogenesis, responses to environmental conditions and the effects of chemical treatment, the researchers wrote in the paper. This can be especially useful in various experiments with plants. Researchers also saw an increase in bioluminescence in response to external factors. For example, the plant's glow increased significantly when a banana peel, which emits ethylene, was nearby. The researchers calculated that the modified plants produced about a billion photons per minute. It is not enough even for comfortable reading, but the light is bright enough to be clearly visible. In their research, the researchers used tobacco plants because of their relatively simple genetics and rapid growth. But, they say, fungus-derived bioluminescence is basically adaptable to most plants. They initially tested it on common periwinkles, roses and petunias. The researchers noted that with further research, they will probably be able to increase the brightness of the bioluminescence of the modified plants.